Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. Accredi organs or institutions. Access to such institutions with authority. As a child, how to exercise that authority? No. You cannot deviate from that authority. You cannot move away from that the performance of that uh, responsibility or function outside the uh, procedure that has been spelled out by the uh, Constitution. And so, clearly, separation of powers, a uh, checks and balance. Uh, even just look at, uh, at the ministerial uh, uh, appointment. Uh, the Mazi, uh, but 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 an application for interlocutory injunction seeking to restrain the speaker from proceeding with the vetting and approval of names of the person submitted by His Excellency the President. Sanity, why your application be for interlocutory injunction? But, say, a sample is it within the purview of the Attorney General to pronounce on the competence of the writ? Hmm. Why is it Attorney General of the court? And I told you to say, oh, you're yeah, part of the court. I see. So the person to pronounce on the competence or other words of a, a process of court. A, 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 a court, no? Or a judge sitting, a, a judge of the high court. And see, in this particular case, in the Supreme Court, no, I can say, pronounce it on the competence or other words of the process filed by the same court. Oh, okay. A, a, it lies in the bosom of the Supreme Court. Yes, to pronounce on the competence. Okay, it's a... Uh, the, in the first track high court and uh, now do can na or yeah attorney general no sure or file a case against Kachu Chikata or or title the case is that written uh, <laughs> the president uh, and <laughs> a title is a criminal summon as in the first track high court uh -huh. before or yes I know lawyers in the attorney general department I catch and say oh there is no first track high court too. There's a high court by fast track division. Or say no, there's a fast track high court. Mm -hmm. What do you call a court? No? A, the court is a pronounced on the competence of this criminal summons. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Because in here, on no other criminal No, no, on no, 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 attorney general. Yes, people drew his attention to the fact that the only job on the office, no. They drew his attention to the fact that you need fast track high court, but mm -hmm. you have high court fast track division. Mm-hmm. What's it, Debbie? What they call you know? They caught through it away said that the, it was the, the criminal summons was incompetent. So, so it is the court that will pronounce on the competence or otherwise. In your, in your girlfriend, Dami, with the greatest respect to you. Okay, FM. Okay. I see. And see, we're not na yenya ima na baso beti mi avet 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 wa mumain to it. Say, say ni si. Oh, yeah, man, even let's not over-concentrate on what the firm of has done in court. But mm -hmm. you see what is happening, now as a demonstration of the absurdity of the letter written by Asante Bidia Tio. Mm-hmm. Say, uh, in our kind of democracy, which even allows the president to select some of his ministers from parliament, you know, it means that there must be cooperation between the various arms of government. Nane, what the president has done is to show both disrespect to parliament. And parliament is flexing its muscles. Why did uh, 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 show this respect? Ah, Adain, parliament has passed a law. Law no, a uh, passed a bill. Constitution no, in Article 1067. See, say a passes a bill no. Own parliament, uh, uh, I mean, parliament will present the bill to the president for assent. Now, president, and yet, and China was thinking, say, on sign a bill, no, go back up. On China was saying, on sign a bill, no, he can, he can, he can assent to the bill, or, or, he can assent to the bill, or 
not a central bill. So uh, yes, I uh, was seven days not to do that, or to, to, to do that or not to do that. Now, where, the, where does it lie with the president to direct his executive secretary to refuse to accept the bill? And also warn the executive secretary to see to to cease and desist from transmitting the view. I mean, is that, is that, that is quite okay, shocking and dictatorial. So when you do that to Parliament, <laughs> you are treating Parliament with contempt. So I was not surprised that uh, Speaker Buckman used the word contempt. But maybe what the Parliament I just said, I just said they should hasten slowly. Because of the pendency of a uh, uh, suit, I uh, uh, was Supreme Court. I thought that you would have said uh, this should happen slowly because uh, there's a decision of the court. <laughs> <laughs> but the pendency of a suit. And one, one to say they had two schools of thought. Sure. Uh -huh. So I thought that you would have said, oh, happen slowly because a decision has been made by the court injuncting me or injuncting you or injuncting the whole process. But, See, but, but, but hey, once an action has been commenced, our uh, court, no, uh, and no, a gentle process be a gentle process be Okay. Once an action has been commenced in court, is an action in court is not an injunction, but out of respect, out of respect for the court and the court processes, no, there is this growing body of opinion. Say, say, Basa, don't take any further step that might create irreparable damage. Hold the balance. Hold the balance in the interest of justice and fairness, but not by any judicial pronouncement. Mm -hmm. So, any injunction. In fact, there is another equally strong body of opinion say the only time that you can be prevented from doing something is when a court says so okay mm -hmm. if a court doesn't say so there's nothing restraining you from mm -hmm. from carrying out okay, your responsibility okay. there's a federal body of opinion who says that it is very unlikely in the demos in the in, in the absence of demonstrable evidence of non-compliance of procedure by a public official in the performance of his or her functions for a court to injunct the public officer who is performing those functions. Say what the radio say, who ye we juma, if it were a public office, according to the dictates of the law. Law no so I I can actually say the over ye we juma no. Who ye no who the law no so now ye we juma. Can anybody go to court and say that your person will you want? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. So there's another part of opinion which questions actually bringing actions to restrain, for, for, for instance, say, many uh, Hawaii, then the Electoral Commission, Omba conducted 2024 elections. Then Omar be registered. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, and every, everything. Then one week to the elections and uh, and uh, one month to the elections. Obia so kofali motion in court. I mean, suit in court. Say uh, election mm -hmm. commission. I did the omo yano want to say na the confusion with Ghana and Ghana and Jessica Bio and the the war with Ghana and all those things. Twenty. Oh, oh, pray court say court is injunct. The letter commission from the performance of the functions. Mm -hmm. Well, or the narrative of uh, some of the statement of case. Or in the read any statement of case, I call. Mm -hmm. Can we lawfully say, properly say, say, there was a written almost several on the electoral commissioner. Mm -hmm. The electoral commission should not carry out the elections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we lawfully say that? Can we say that? Hey! Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the 2024 election, see, yes, yeah, so, okay, will be the court, Supreme Court to injunct the process in the about one year. 
Say they are up by this. Uh, let me call it this legal impasse as a DND. How do we cure it? I, I think that to cure it, there are many ways. Me, I've always said that in constitutional democracy, there are there are backroom channels for engagement. In the face of demonstrable exercise of power by the various arms of government, Council of State, this Council, and all those things should, should look at the backroom channels. See, how do we resolve this impasse? Hmm. For instance, I can, after, I, I, yesterday I was telling you, say, so we have a constitutional arrangement now. Now we are up the teaser. Because without even writing the letter that we did at your road. Oman Penin, Nana Adonako Akufado, in connection with the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill, had 20, uh, uh, 51 days available to him to do nothing. And I want to say, Mr. Mm -hmm. 51 days. Seven days to in indicate over Sani and our own Sani. 14 days. So on Sani, I didn't know on Sani. Part of the 14 days, you know, eh, 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 I mean, 14 days, you no. Know, the part of the reasons, the uh, overture one mem memorandum, you no, know, could include referring the matter to Council of State under Article 90. Say, so, okay, Article 90 uh, gives the Council of State in the in the in normal bills again bills normal bills 30 days to bring a report mm -hmm. so what do you need in our car 51 days free almost two months almost two months so if our working days you cried yeah so it was needless it was needless so for me there are many ways you can resolve this matter. This matter, the transmission of the human sexual rights and family values bill, no, could go unnoticed if the president had just relied on the provisions of the constitution. And this, this, in mm. case see that, you see, so. I think that people, the Council of State, Council of Peace Council, uh, and the uh, uh, people of this country, I mean, some opinion leaders and all, must try to explore the Bangor Channel and see. Ooh, because okay. I mean, okay, Parliament has an agent, Sinedai. The one who has the right to call, to call Parliament is the Speaker. Mm -hmm. In the absence of the Speaker call, call the call of Parliament, you say the caucus or members of parliament sign uh, a petition calling for the uh, uh, recall of parliament and with an agenda, I don't know the person will call of parliament. Mm -hmm. And that agenda will have to be debated. And if it is found to, have, to be appropriate, uh, then the parliament will be recalled. So it's a procedure. Wow. It's a procedure. But now, Parliament has an agent, Sinidi. The person who identifies Parliament, Sinidi, okay, has taken a bridge with uh, Adedia, Oman uh, Pinyin, uh, and Nakofadu, Oman, the second. Now, uh, 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 isn't it, you say, as a right honorable speaker, and so I take his sides with the issue. Say, say, why, 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 I'm a proof, we are now one sign, we are one of your fees, and I be with you, sir, and it will see any. No, side by the speaker, I take it. Mm, I'm you, the speaker has taken the side of parliament. <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> because you saw the man hours, resources, time, energy that was used in considering the uh, human sexual values and family bill. Human sexual rights and family values bill. You saw that. You saw that. I mean, yeah, even a conference called stakeholders and all those things. You know, in Qatar, at the parliament for close to three months or more. So, 
all the debate that is generated in the whole country and the partisanship that characterized the debate. And with all that, Parliament was able to steer its way with all the compromises that they, they made on the bill in Parliament and passed the bill. Now, why would the President treat Parliament with such contempt? And, and then you are finding that it's gradually emerging into a pattern. If it's a pattern, then this conduct is not out of the blue, is it? Mm -hmm. Then no. No. So what do you think Parliament will not take offense? I see. Okay, FM. I see. Ah, but there, there have been a uh, there have been other bills here which was not assented to by the president. Uh Mosadi by Parliament. No 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 sir and no no uncosu any a stir like this one a cosy. There's no procedure for returning such bills to Parliament except where the president says are uh, objects on the basis of certain provisions in the constitution. Oh, okay. The president said he couldn't assent because of he saw the unconstitutionality of those bills. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, who okay, the response of the speaker? That yeah. it doesn't lie with the president to determine the constitutionality or otherwise of those bills. Okay. The only time in living memory and particularly under the Fourth Republic, that a bill has been returned to Parliament triggered by Article 106 of the Constitution, a year present for all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This domestic violence bill. No? Ah, yes, yes. And I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, Which one? No, me, 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 kai, me kai. Okay, me, 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 kai, was civil because I was particularly personally involved. And the sad time, I'm call Parliament. And uh, 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 the the power was the gender committee chairperson, and there was a provision in the domestic violence deal that Ghanaians christened uh, military. And Kufo, President Kufo has said that or, 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 or objected to the inclusion of that clause in the deal. One suggested amendment, but on this see, or, or the, the memo. No, Actually, HSA was objected to the inclusion of that that that, uh, that clause in the bill, and so he returned the bill to Parliament. And uh, uh, the Speaker then okay, began to then use that the fair bill, no? Emma Committee on Gender, Joint Committee on Gender and Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. They were just meeting in the lobby. That was the time I came to Parliament. I had no committee, and. Uh, I was passing by, and then Esther Obama Dapa herself invited me. Say, lawyer, I was going to go first. You want to sign it? And the boy, then they say, then they say, then they say, then they say, and I can tell you on authority that we found bill, no. Maybe because I was fresh from the courts, but now my my man was like a lawyer, now not a, not a, not a, a legislator, so. Immediately, I took the bill. I invoked the notion of uh, invocation of conjugal rights under common law, married it with the gender activist uh, position, looked at the provision, juggled the, the, the words, placed the words, uh, changed the placements of the words. And when the whole committee read what I had presented, uh, they were satisfied. They thought that that was the answer. Fortunately, President Kofoto agreed with, with, with the way we formulated the clause and signed the bill. So it happens. And no one, today people don't even remember. So you see how President Kofoto lowered the temperature. See how he lowered the temperature. This is all instance. There's a way to do, there's a good way to do things. Uh -huh. So... Uh, and I put the blame at the doorstep of the executive secretary. People say that your president is arrogant, is intolerant, is intransigent, is so and so. I said, 
as an officer serving your president. You have a duty to protect him. Also to help him, to, to help to project him in good light. Even if your president has said you write it in this way, it's your duty to try to convince your president that there's another way that you can write it. But don't do that and add the last paragraph.